Good morning, I'm Brooks from my medical engineering department. And as part of our course in material science, we are interviewing people with material science related projects. And as a matter of fact, we have Professor Adamu here with us. And in a brief moment, we ask him certain questions, very brief questions about himself and then his research work and then advice for students. So, so good morning and thank you for your time. Even though you don't have time, you make time for us to meet you here. And as part of our questions, we would like to know something brief about yourself. Okay, I, I went to Nordic school. I came to the West of Ghana. Uh, I went to the West of Bristol. Uh, then from West of Bristol, I went to the University of Sussex in Brighton, England. And then I came back and I've been lecturing. Thank you for that. And <coughs> can you please tell us something very brief about your research work, be it previous or currently? I have had uh, research work in materials. So I worked on semiconducting compounds, uh, talking about cadmium selenides. Um, I worked on diamonds and I worked on manganese thin films. The interest in uh, cadmium selenide was uh, in relation to the fact that I got interested in solar energy research, uh, specifically in the photovoltaic effect in which we convert sunshine into electricity. Now, the primary material that was used for this used to be silicon. But as time went on, people used newer materials. Carbon selenide is one of those that has been least worked upon. And uh, so we thought it would be good to find out the the characteristics of uh, carbon semiconductors, it is a compound semiconductor from the 2,5 group in the periodic table. Uh, so that's how I got into that. But, but before that, I worked on diamonds. We want to find out the various types of diamonds that we have in the country. We only have a lot of diamonds in Ghana. That one we were trying to look at their properties. Uh, we, we noticed that the presence of impurities in diamond played a very important role in uh, the properties that we showed, the characteristics that we showed. So we did this work on diamond, essentially simply identifying the kind of impurities that are present in diamond and therefore the uses to which the diamond can be put. Now, um, the interest that developed in manganese stem foams was the fact that manganese has a very complex structure, a crystallographic uh, structure. Now, a lot of the properties that I want to display uh, okay, at low temperatures, like uh, liquid helium, liquid nitrogen temperatures, uh, these are also explainable in terms of the impurities and imperfections that uh, the manganese has. So those are the areas that I worked in materials. Thank you very much for that. And from the way you, <coughs> you spoke, it means your research work is highly related to material science. Were there certain challenges? I'm sure there is a lot of challenges. Like if you're going to 
make the Germans that uh, helium temperatures, the helium temperatures is around zero degrees um, Kelvin. So you have to think about what kind of uh, um, materials to use to be able to reach those temperatures and also to be able to take your, your measurements. Uh, in many cases also the, the challenges have to do with the equipment availability. Now if you're going to uh, determine the impurities present in them, for example, you've got to be able to, to find equipment that can take those measurements for you and, uh, and so on. So it's, it's basically having equipment available having technical people to be able to maintain uh, the systems that you are using. For example, if you're going to be measuring things at a near zero K temperature, then you've got to, for example, you can maintain the equipment so that it's working to those temperatures. Then of course there is a problem about actually measuring those temperatures. Uh, it's not like uh, a simple case of dipping uh, a mercury thermometer into the liquid. So there is the problems that come with the kind of project that you want to do. Okay, so then um, the last thing we'd like to ask is that what advice do you have for science and applied science students using yourself as a, an example in your work and your research? Resilience. You just have to stick to it and uh, try to do the best out of it. Uh, now I think the choice of areas of research and study will be closely guided by what is going on in our country. In this country now we, we have a lot of gold, we have a lot of diamond, we have a lot of oxide and so on. Now, Science is not really um, useful, it is not transformed into a usable, uh, practical thing. You know, but now I think people in the sciences must be gearing their efforts towards investigating the properties of these materials that we have. Uh, I'm thinking specifically about children fund which we are got in Ghana now, people should be working towards trying to exploit uh, the petroleum we have, see the uses to which uh, it can be put. We know that a lot of industries can spring out of um, petroleum products and I think we should not overlook that in the choice of areas that we want to pursue our studies and our, our research. So those are the areas that I would advise people to go into. It will not be easy, but we should be able to do that to benefit as much as we can out of the petroleum and the minerals and other minerals that we have in the country. Thank you very much for the salon for your time is spent with us. We are very grateful for your time and we do hope the next time we have such a program, we cooperate. Thank you very much.